Welcome everyone to TWF. This is the night that CJ Dirt faces Christian Black one-on-one. You know that CJ Dirt's pockets have been lined by Commissioner T-Money. What's going to happen? And also on the agenda, television championship to be contested. Mr. Ego Tony Vargas challenges main event Michael Sean on this program from the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. You picked a great night to watch us do what we do. Well, first, of course, it wouldn't be TWF unless I didn't tell you about the upcoming live shows in towns all over. 5th of February, Eagles Hall, 126 Camellia Way, Modesto, California. Doors at 6, showtime at 7, the universal price, 15 for adults and 10 for kids. We hope you will all join us in Motown, Modesto on the 5th of February. Shamrock Showdown, Saturday, the March 5th, 2022. Mountain House Bar and Grill, 16784 West Grant Line Road in Tracy, California. Doors at 6, showtime at 7, 15 for adults, $10 for kids. It's a beautiful outdoor patio atmosphere at the Mountain House Bar and Grill. Be there for live pro wrestling. And all roads lead to the Colonial Theater. April 9th, Rio Mania 19, 3522 Stockton Boulevard in Sacktown. Doors at 630, bell time at 7, $15 for adults, $10 for kids. Be there at the Colonial Theater, our biggest and best venue. We are working daily to add great talent to that one. And then there was that rescheduled Manteca show. It's going to take place on July 16th. So set your calendars on your smartphones. VFW Hall, 580 Moffitt Boulevard in Manteca. Doors at 6.30, bell time at 7, 15 for adults, $10 for kids. Well, this is the Colonial Theater, an absolutely gorgeous venue in our hometown of Sacramento, California. It's been our home for years. You have joined us on an amazing night at an amazing place here for TWF Rugged. Well, let's get these guys out here right now. Here we go. Much has been made about the way that Michael Sean won the television championship. But here at our biggest and best venue, the Colonial Theater, can Tony Vargas take that title back to the bay? We are about to find out. Mr. Ego, Tony Vargas, enters the Colonial Theater. If it wasn't for a dog collar chain to the side of the face, you'd be looking at the TWF champion. In my estimation, you'd be looking at the champion of this company if it wasn't for a dog collar to the side of the face a few months back in Stockton, California. And the next individual, the guy that won the television championship. Tony Vargas, I don't know who you're sucking up to to get title shot after title shot. Become wreck the halls. I'm going to show you why I am what I say I am, the main event. See, just like I show Dave Wasted, I don't care about good little moments. I care about doing one thing, that's collecting belts and breaking hearts. And you already see I got the, heart, the belt. I'm going to break your heart. See, come wreck the halls. I have a big, big surprise for you and everybody else. I'll see you at the Colonial Theater. Super strong words from the defending television champion, obviously pre-recorded. And you can tell by the echo of booze, they would love to see him lose that TV title here tonight in Sacramento. Of course, he reps Reno, as you can tell by the jersey, could give a crap about any other town that we go to. We're talking Modesto, Stockton, Sacramento, Tracy, all sorts of cities all over this area. But that guy is full of himself, but he is the television champion. And definitely taking his time getting in the squared circle. I think he knows that he is in the crosshairs of Tony Vargas. I think he knows that Tony Vargas has all the tools to beat him here tonight. Oh, 
lots and lots of booze from the Colonial Faithful. Michael Sean is not a hometown favorite. You go over those mountains into Reno, he says that is the salt of the earth. Not Sacramento. And these people are letting him have it verbally here and now. Well, obviously, Tony Vargas, the bigger and stronger of the two. Former professional football player, former professional mixed martial artist but never underestimate the devious mind of Michael Sean. Michael Sean won the title from Dave Wasted a few months back in extremely controversial fashion. And now he's already stalled. Trying to get under the skin of Tony Vargas trying to wrestle this championship contest on his own watch, on his own time. He's not paid by the hour. He's letting you know it right now. Well, as I alluded to earlier, Vargas, bigger and stronger. And one more time, the stalling continues. Well, generally, we advertise this TWF rugged television program as a one-hour show, but with Michael Sean, it might end up being three hours with all this stolen. My name is Jake Sherman. I provide the play-by-play. -play. Oh, and there it is. He sees the opening. Tony Vargas turned his back for a split second, and Michael Sean takes advantage. Shoots him in now. Oh. Splash in the corner, some big, big bombs, big rights to the face. Rope burn on that top rope, and Michael Sean has seen an opening and taken advantage to start this thing. You have to think, how is the anatomy of Tony Vargas after that crazy, brutal match a few months back and getting that chain slammed into his face? Michael Sean knows that. Big chop to the chest of the challenger. A second time, and Vargas is reeling. This is not what I expected. This is not how I expected this match to start. Of course, coming up next, Christian Black battles CJ Dirt in singles competition. Who knows what Commissioner T Money paid CJ Dirt to take out Christian Black? He won't tell me. Reversal. Oh, and a leaping forearm. Three hit combo by the challenger. Leaping forearm, spinning elbow, and it ends a Gary to cap it off. Three hit combination in deadly fashion by Mr. Ego Tony Vargas, and the challenger is dominating the champion. Despite taking some blows early, Tony Vargas has recovered, and this crowd would love to see him take the TV title here tonight. Oh, bite club. Take a bite out of crime, Tony Vargas. Teeth into the forehead of Michael Sean. And he's flustered. He's definitely hurt. He's definitely reeling. And these people know it. Face first into the canvas, and Tony Vargas controlling this thing 100% at this moment in time. He's ripe for the pickings. Oh, 
Well, that's a unique way to do some push-ups. You get yourself in shape and you sap the strength out of the guy that was talking crap all day. Well, maybe he can take that Reno jersey out of Sacramento without the TV title. Both men to a vertical base and drops him down with the DDT. Ref Gill with the two count, he's been on things. Thanks for joining the festivities. Quite the snap on that DDT. He has the explosiveness of a professional athlete. He played pro football. Explosive kind of offense by Tony Vargas every time he steps foot in the squared circle. Oh, there's a reversal by the champion. Underhook. Neckbreaker. And you got to give him some credit. A shoulder comes up, but Michael Sean, just when I'm about to discount him, hits that neck breaker, changes the tide in this TV title matchup. And Michael Sean, many had written him off, but that was not the case. Very crafty, very cerebral, found a way to get himself back in the ball game here. Plants the elbow on the heart of Mr. Ego. Oh, and there it is. There's frustration right there, though. Takes off the bandana and wraps it around the throat of the challenger, Tony Vargas. That is the frustration of the champion. And once again, wraps that obnoxiously pink bandana around the throat, around the larynx of Tony Vargas. Oh, he caught the clothesline. Whoa, and folds him in half with a German suplex. Curb stomp. Put him down. The champion's down. Oh, inches away from a brand new champion there. Tony Vargas folded him in half. Wow, what a German suplex, and Michael Sean was seeing... Michael Sean was seeing stars. Almost won the TV title moments ago, and Tony Vargas climbs his way back into this thing, and Michael Sean might know. He might think that he's overmatched. Michael Sean trying to get some distance. A handful of tights and shoves him into the top rope. Very crafty. Extremely smart offense when we thought he was behind. Now several rights to the face. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tony Vargas able to slip underneath. And dumps him down. New champion, new champion. Michael Sean is not moving. Michael Sean is out cold. Michael Sean just got dumped on his skull, and now we got a Texas Clover leaf. If he taps out, this thing is over. Tap or snap. Oh, wait a sec. Who is that? Oh, come on. That is the wrecking ball. Paul Isadora. Paul Isadora just flattened Tony Vargas. We've got ourselves a disqualification. Come on. I told you, I have a big surprise. That was the big surprise that Michael Shawn was going on and on about. He's got a seven foot surprise by the name of Paul Isadora and Michael Shawn somehow keeps the TV title. He loses by DQ. They don't like it here in Sacramento. I told you! I told you all along! I don't like it. The people don't like it. But Michael Sean gets disqualified and keeps the TV title.
The wrecking ball has aligned himself with Michael Sean. Well, right here, this thing should have been over. Look at this. Elevated. Crazy elevated power bomb, followed by the Texas Cloverleaf. This thing should have been over. But out comes the seven foot surprise for Tony Vargas and Michael Sean is disqualified and stays the television champion. A ridiculous situation here in Sacramento here tonight. Folded up like a pretzel, it was tap or snap. But Paul Isadora saves the championship, saves the TV title for Michael Sean. And Tony Vargas, he has been absolutely screwed several times. Nice ovation by the people here in Sacramento. You will see plenty more of him. Well, this is Sacramento, California. This is the Colonial Theater. This is our Madison Square Garden. This is our best venue and our greatest hometown of a city. We love the Colonial. We are back here on April 9th for Real Mania. You all should join us. It's always a packed house in Sacramento. Live Pro Wrestling is in towns all over the 209, the 916, and the 530. Saturday, the 5th of February, Eagles Hall, 126 Camellia Way, Modesto, California. Doors at 6, showtime at 7, 15 bucks for adults and 10 bucks for kids. You're going to be there in Modesto, right? Right? Of course you are. Then we keep the train moving. March 5th, 2022, it's a Saturday, an all-ages live pro wrestling show at Mountain House Bar and Grill in Tracy, California. The address there is 16784 West Grantline Road. Doors at 6, showtime at 7. It is a beautiful outdoor patio situation in the foothills of Tracy for Shamrock Showdown. You should be there. And the Colonial Theater. April 9th, Rio Mania 19. The address, of course, 3522 Stockton Boulevard, Sacramento. Doors at 6.30, bell time at 7, 15 for adults and 10 for kids. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, like a Colonial Theater live TWF show. And then just mark your calendars for the future. Manteca's show that was rescheduled because of COVID protocols goes on July 16th at the VFW Hall, 580 Moffitt Boulevard in Manteca, California. So mark your calendars for July for the 209 for Manteca. Well, next week, it's been signed. The Wrecking Ball. Paul Isadora is here. The Wrecking Ball tries to wreck Black Cat Joey Smoke in singles competition on this television show next week, so you'd better tune in. Also taking place on next week's show, Tag Team Championship Matchup, The Vigilance Committee, Outlaw Justin Caton, and Rough Country Austin Ames defend the titles against former champion Andrew Arch and his find, this monster, Bad News Blakesley. So, uh, I just got word. I just got word that Andrew March went and got himself a title match. You know, bro, I don't even know you, you even had a chance or a, a, a shot at these tag titles, but fine. And I hear you've got a big monster that's a tag partner. You know what? That's fine. Me and the Outlaw, we ain't losing those tag titles. Nah, me and the Outlaw, bring on, bring on what a monster you got. You can go get King Kong. You can go get Godzilla. It doesn't matter. Me and the Outlaw... We're staying with those tag titles. And we're moving on to some bigger and better competition. And you could forget ever getting a title shot again. I'm tired of you. I want bigger, I want better, I want better. Let's get it. 
While later on tonight, in mere moments, CJ Dirt takes on Christian Black one-on-one. Commissioner T-Money has his eyes all over this thing. He booked this thing. He wants CJ Dirt to beat down Christian. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Do you want to do a live pro wrestling event at your birthday party, your private party, your corporate event, your unique event? We can bring the action to your town. Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com is our email. Hit us up and we can do some business. We are a small business that can help others. Save me 20% at All Pro Bail Bonds. When my buddy called me to bail him out, I went to All Pro Bail Bonds. They give the military a 20% discount. I needed my husband home with us, but I didn't have the money to get him out. That's why I went to All Pro Bail Bonds, because they let me make payments. You never know when you'll need a pro. Call All Pro Bail Bonds, 888-845-BAIL. Offering affordable payment plans plus military and union discounts. ¿Alguien ha sido arrestado? Llame sin compromiso. Nosotros le ayudaremos. Ofrecemos pagos de acuerdo a su presupuesto. No se preocupe más. Nuestros agentes son amables y profesionales. Llame a un experto. Llame a All Pro Bail Bonds. saint of filth Christina Von Erie has traveled all over the world as a professional wrestler she's done amazing things including defeating Lady Lindsay last time we were at the Eagles Hall in Modesto California Also, the very controversial, outspoken G-Spot has added Christina Von Erie as a client of his. How will that affect the outcome on February 5th in Modesto? How will that affect the game plan and the strategy of Lady Lindsay has yet to be seen. However, as of late, Lindsay has had enormous success at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento, California, at the Stockton Arena in Stockton, California. Can Lindsay ride that momentum of success into her rematch on February 5th against Christina Von Erie at Eagles Hall in Modesto? We will see if Lindsay can do the impossible and take out Von Erie on that night. Last time we were in that building, Lindsay came oh so close to victory and came up a little bit short. Can she redeem herself February 5th in Modesto at the Eagles Hall? Get your tickets today. Wow. Well. Lindsay versus Christina Von Erie on February 5th at Eagles Hall. Buy your tickets. 126 Camellia Way in Modesto. Doors at 6. Showtime at 7. 15 for adults. $10 for kids. You know you're going to be there. You know if you live in Modesto, you don't get much live pro wrestling. I would show up for that and much, much more. 
Then, Tracy, California, March 5th. Tracy never gets live pro wrestling. Mountain House Bar and Grill, 16784 West Grantline Road. Doors at 6, showtime at 7, adults are 15, kids are 10. It should be an amazing night we're calling Shamrock Showdown. You know, St. Patrick's Day, March, you'd better show up there. And then the Colonial Theater, the big one, Real Mania 19, April 9, 2022, all ages fun, 3522 Stockton Boulevard, Sacramento, doors at 630, bell time at 7, the same price it's been for a while, you're going to be there live and in person for Real Mania 19 on April 9th. And then Manteca, we are there on July 16th at the VFW Hall, so mark your calendars, mark your smartphones, do what you got to do. 580 Moffitt Boulevard in Manteca, California. Doors at 6.30, bell time at 7, live pro wrestling back in the town of Manteca. Well, Indie Handshake has provided some of the images you see on your screen on this program. We thank them very much. They have an extremely awesome YouTube page, an extremely awesome podcast. There's some great documentaries about NorCal wrestling. The Beach Hut Deli is the place in Sacramento to watch all the AEW pay-per-views. They are located in Lomans Plaza. The specific address is 2535 Fair Oaks Boulevard. It's in Sacramento. It's right there by Fair Oaks and uh, Fulton, I believe. Best sandwiches and beer in town. Enjoy the AEW pay-per-views in a festive environment with other wrestling fans at Sacramento's Beach Hut Deli. Zombie Prevention Company provides vendoring opportunities at TWF. They sell a variety of products at all of our live events like board games, replica weapons, CBD products, and oh so much more. They are some great people who show up and support us and we support them. We are all small businesses helping each other out. So next time you come to a show, bring a few extra bucks and buy something from Zombie Prevention. The 209 Pro Wrestling Academy presents the Bump of the Moment. At 209 Pro Wrestling Academy, learn to be a pro wrestler from Mr. Ego Tony Vargas several times per week in the Sacramento area. NLPW office at gmail.com. Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com is our email, or you can text it up at 916-317-9999 to advertise on our social media, on this program you're watching at this very moment, or at our live events. We are open for business, and we are a small business who definitely wants to help out other small businesses spread the word about their services or their products. Hit us up. It was last week on this program that Abigail Warren got outsmarted by Joe Gamble. One, two, three. After attacking everything in sight, Joe Gamble 
got the victory. We had hoped to get some words with Abigail, but she refused to talk to us. And absolutely livid Abigail refused to get some comments, refused to give us some comments about that match last week. We will know more in the coming weeks. Well, it looks like Johnny George, our ring announcer, looks like he's getting an important text. You're on the job. Like well, us on Facebook, facebook.com slash the TWF for all of the information about what's going on in our world. This is the Colonial Theater. This is Sacramento. We are about to have the main event. Had to get all of those responsibilities out of the way about the people that help us every week. But this is a beautiful place. It is time for the television main event in mere moments. We are screaming through the valley where the nation of us Out steps C.J. Durr. Of course, with him is TWF champion Big MF Matt Freeman. CJ Dirt digging up the dirt on the medical records of Christian Black. Are you kidding me? Is Christian really allergic to peppermint? What's up, everybody? Well, here comes former TWF champion Christian Black. Here comes a guy that's held every title you can think of in TWF. Hometown favorite at the Colonial Theater. These people can appreciate someone that works hard. Someone that does everything they can to be successful in wrestling and not need 48 people at ringside with them.
What an ovation for that guy right there. Talk about the two opposite ends of the spectrum here in 2WF. Are you kidding me? And absent, an enormous monkey wrench has been thrown into this thing. Commissioner T. Money texted ring announcer Johnny George to notify him. Now this crowd's not digging you, CJ. This is now no disqualification. They're calling it a miracle on Stockton Boulevard street fight kind of match. This is not what Christian signed up for. And I don't know if he was in cahoots with CJ on that as well. But this is now no disqualification. Throwing everything he can to mess with the career of Christian Black is the commissioner of this company, T-Money. Something's got to give. Well, CJ missed the right hand. And Christian, look at this, look at this. He's going to have to fight and fight and fight to win this thing. Clothesline in the corner. And 10 punches to the skull of CJ Dern. And CJ gets his face caved in several times by the right hand of Christian Black. Oh, drop toe hold by CJ. He's stabbing him with those candy canes. That's peppermint. Is he allergic? Well, CJ Dirt just stabbed the face of Christian Black with those candy canes. Like a redneck Christmas Freddy Krueger. Or Wolverine. And now it's CJ's turn. Oh, once again, ramming that peppermint into the skull of Christian Black. And now stretching him out. CJ is the bigger of the two, the taller of the two, the stronger of the two, I would think. And he's rowing his boat, stretching out the pectoral muscles and the shoulders of Christian Black, slowing things down to his own pace. This crowd trying to will Christian back in this thing alleviates a lot of pressure, gets to a vertical base. I think CJ got hit in the twig and berries. Oh, flying forearm turns it into a cross body all in one motion. CJ gets his shoulders up and does not stay down, and now he's running for the hills. It's time to call a timeout. It's time to run out of bounds. It's time to re-strategize on the outside if you're CJ Dirt and Big MF Matt Freeman. Look at this. He's allergic to peppermint, come on. He's gonna break out in hives or something. Gruesome. Well, Christian licking his wounds on one side of the ring. Meanwhile, CJ 
vigorously climbing through. Oh, oh boy. That, my friends, is a present. And it just got rammed on the skull of Christian Black. Oh, that's a dog collar. That is a chain-covered dog collar. And CJ just whips that chain into the face of Christian Black. That was Concussion City. That definitely changed the complexion of this thing in a hurry. Christian Black had found his way back, but CJ Durr grabs that present from under the ring that's got weapons inside of it. Oh, and drops the big leg. Oh, Christian Black gets that right shoulder off the canvas, avoids any possibility of a three count. CJ had to have known about this. Oh, right in the skull. Well, you know that CJ Dirt knew about Team Money throwing that no DQ di stipulation on this thing. He had weapons under the damn ring. Christian didn't know about it. Talk about a disadvantage. Oh, wow. And he just beeled him across the ring by his beard. 18 feet across this ring, beals him by the hairs on his chinny chin chin. And CJ Dirt controlling things here at the Colonial. Big MF, watching very intently, dips him down with the body slam, puts him in position for something. And now CJ, once again to the outside. He had a plan, come on. He's got stuff all over this ring. Did he steal his aunt's wrapping paper? Is that what he does? Oh boy, and what's in the box? I guess only time will tell. Christian Black still clutching his head on the far side of the ring there. And CJ trying to add insult to injury. Right in the cheekbones. And then right on top of the head, Christian Black is down once again. CJ Dirt is utilizing all these weapons to keep control of this thing and edge his way towards victory. Is that a stuffed animal? What the heck is this That's a nutcracker. CJ Dirt's holding a nutcracker. That's a nutcracker. And takes one in the face. That's a nutcracker. It's a nutcracker. <laughs> nutcracker. And takes him down. It's over. Oh, only two. Nutcracker for CJ Dirt. Not quite three. Christian Black very nearly won it with a nutcracker to the nuts and then a nutcracker to the skull. You can see it right there. Uh-oh, and CJ's gotten up now. DDT spikes him. And still can't keep him down. CJ Dirt tougher than a $2 steak at a truck stop. 
You gotta give him a little bit of credit. Uh-oh, CJ retaliates with a shot to the midsection. Belly-to-back suplex by the suplex and red Mexican. And Christian once again floored by his bigger, stronger, younger opponent. Fist drop! Obnoxious Santa hat fist drop by the former television champion CJ Dirk. Uh oh, Christian's up. Reversal. Death Valley Driver. Christian Black plants him in the center of the ring with a Death Valley Driver. But does he have enough left in the gas tank to make the cover? The answer was no. Obnoxious hat there. And the fist drop to the face. But not to be outdone, Christian Black slides behind him and nails the Death Valley Driver. Well, both men are down. Both men are sucking some wind. This has been an absolutely wild miracle on Stockton Boulevard. No disqualification main event television matchup from the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. Oh, and CJ sees that Christian Black climbing to the top. Oh! I know what's in there. And CJ had a steel chair wrapped up like a present, slammed it on the skull of Christian Black. Oh no, oh no. Oh, good God! One, two, three! CJ wins it. And this crowd is letting him have it with booze everywhere. But C.J. Dern utilizes that steel chair to rearrange the spine of Christian Black and get himself a win here tonight in this absolutely off-the-page, wild main event here at TWF Rugged. Now we're calling this show Wreck the Halls, and they just wreck the halls. Weapons everywhere, debris everywhere, plunder everywhere. But when the smoke clears, CJ Dirt gets a win. Christian Black had no idea about the no disqualification stipulation. He got one more thing. He brought his own this time. CJ Dirt rearranges the spine and the chair. Violent finish and gets a win. It was a chair inside the present a steel chair inside the present christian black was out cold out like a dollar store light bulb cj jumps on the opportunity destroys him with this and gets a one two three
my god. Look at that chair. The spine of Christian Black did that to the chair. The chair has been absolutely destroyed, as has the body of Christian Black, unfortunately for him, here tonight. at the back and everybody here to listen. Since the beginning of this year, when we got back to doing shows, T-Money has made my life an absolute living hell. He has sent person after person after me. Tonight, I damn near broke my back on this damn chair. I'm sick of it. I've had enough. in this once and for all. So, T-Money, I know you're going to see this show, and you got your little minions in the back. At Rio Mania, it's going to be Team Christian versus Team T-Money. And to sweeten the pot, if my team wins, you're no longer commissioner of TWF. But if my team loses, the person who loses that fall, they leave TWF forever. <laughs> <laughs>